Hello everyone, out uh, there in Facebook land, this is Krishna Bo. Um, I'm here live with you again, and today I'm going to be briefly speaking about a, another provocative topic. Now for those of you who know me, um, you would know that I'm Krishna Bo, I'm a local author, I have written articles for the Freeport News, and I currently write articles for the Bahama by and Sal. And my heartbeat for women everywhere has just been that we would be able to live lives that are fulfilling. Um, so that's just a brief intro of who I am. Um, I'm not a sensationalist. I'm not one of those women that are going to be on Facebook, kind of talking all sorts of juicy stuff. I'm just a regular blowjo mom of three. I'm married for 23 years and I just felt like I had to do my part in this life and this right here is a part of me doing my part which is encouraging my fellow sisters and brothers in Christ inspiring hoping that just if you know if just one or two of the words that I say would just you know give you that word of encouragement that you need to keep going and today I am going to be focusing on bad moms okay bad moms now I mean who really admits to their bad mom I don't think anybody really does but I'm gonna let you know that the topic the title is a bit deceptive because even though it's saying bad moms I'm gonna venture to say that most of us are not bad moms and I'm here to tell you that you are not a bad mom so even though the title says bad moms, I want you to know that you're not a bad mom, okay? I know that the task of motherhood is a heavy one. I mean, I think sometimes we underscore just how hard and how challenging it can be being a good mother and even more so a great mother. I mean, I'm living this, right? Because I'm a mother of three children myself, a 24-year-old, a 15-year-old, a 10-year-old, and it is hard. It is stressful. It's, it's heartwarming, and then sometimes it's heartbreaking. You go through so many ups and downs, and there are many times when you may question yourself and say, you know, am I really a good mom? And I'm just here today to tell you that, listen, if you are even questioning yourself, chances are you are a great mom, and you rock okay you rock because being a mother is not an easy job so I just want to put that out there and want to let you know that you're if you're questioning yourself chances are you're a great mom okay I know that sometimes we can feel like um we never measure up and that is just not true again this is good old Satan just trying to plant lies into our head to tell us that we are things that we are not and a lot of times it makes us feel like we are less than. And guess what? A great mom is not a perfect mother. You heard that? Not a perfect mother, but a mother who is putting her best foot forward, who's being the best mother that she can be, and who is interested in raising her children in the right way, instilling character traits that they can use for a lifetime, and just teaching them and guiding them in the direction that they should go in. Now, one of the things I want to tell you is you don't have to be like the mother next door. You don't have to be like the mother down the street. Uh, you don't have to be like the mother who just seems to have it all together. Because that mother that you're looking at that seems to have it all together, guess what? She doesn't have it all together. So, let's stop looking at other women. Let's stop looking at other person's lives. And let's stop trying to measure up to that because it's just not going to happen. Um, all of us struggle in life. There is just no perfect situation. So I want you to know that you are not a bad mom. So don't try to measure up, okay? No need to, to, to do what the other person does. Find what is your personal style and you go with it. And I say that because, okay, I'll use an example. I like to use these examples, right? I'm a mother, I'm not going to lie, a lot of times I feel like, listen, I'm just going to lose it on these kids, right? They get me so angry and I think the reason that our kids can just run us to the brink of distraction is because they are so close to us. They're the ones that we hold dearest to our hearts 
They're the ones that we live for. They're the ones that we work for. But they're also the ones that have the power to just drive us mad. And I may look nice and calm now as I talk to you on Facebook, but oh Lord, he knows that sometimes it gets crazy up in here, right? And sometimes I say to myself, why can't I just be nice and calm and cool and collective and say to my daughter, Chani, don't do that. That's not right. No, don't go like that. I very rarely end up doing that. Most of the times my teeth is gritting and my voice is raised and I'm like, girl! We know how it goes, right? If you've been a parent for more than a day, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And then sometimes you feel like, oh, that was so bad of me or, you know, the other mom seems to do it so great and why can't I be like that? Stop. Be who you are, ladies. Be who, be who you are within the realm of reason. Scream at your kids, abuse your kids, or do all sorts of crazy. No, that's not what I'm saying. But I am saying that you have to be who you are. You have to be the mother that God has called you to be. You have to run your own race, not the race of the mother down the street. If anybody knows me, I'm a very expressive person, and that carries through in my role as motherhood. I have some friends that are very passive, they're very soft spoken and that carries through to their role as mothers as well. But you know, we are all different, so no need to fit in. Be who you are, and be proud of who you are. Okay, yeah, 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 I scare around like a jungler sometimes, but hey, it's okay. I am Krishna, I am fearfully, and I am wonderfully made. That is what my Bible tells me. And I believe that with every fiber of my being, and I believe that you, you wonderful mother, are wonderfully and fearfully made. So I just want to put that out there, okay? So as the famous saying goes, carry on, my dear moms. You're not perfect. No, you're not perfect. But you are a great mom, okay? Now, let me look back at the title, Bad Mom. The real bad moms, they aren't even thinking if they're bad moms. Because they're so busy with their own stuff, but doing whatever it is they have to do, Unfortunately, the children are way, way down there on the list. So, the real bad mom, I don't even know if this is going to resonate with them because they don't even realize that they're bad moms, you know. Um, so, I just want to say to you that, listen, be encouraged. You know, there was a movie called Bad Moms, and it was hilarious, even though I felt it was way too much profanity. But it was hilarious, and the message that they tried to put out there was that, you know, you're not a perfect mom. So I just wanted to encourage you today, just give you another little nugget. This is another little nugget. You know, these are, you know, what I'm saying is nothing complicated, nothing, nothing that is past understanding. These are very, very simple little nuggets that I'm just putting out there. Just encourage someone. You know, there may be a mom listening to me today, and she may feel like, oh, I'm not able to provide because, you know, we feel guilty if we can't um, give the kids everything they want. You know, you can't make it to that soccer game because you worked late that particular day. Or, you know, you're not able to make that vacation. But I just want to encourage you to run your own race. Those things are really very, very insignificant in the role of motherhood. Really, first and foremost, we know that you have to love your kids, right? Love your kids, teach your kids what's right, and leave a legacy. So, I know that some people may say, ooh, she's talking about bad moms. May have been looking for some juice or what they consider to be some juicier stuff. But no, this is just a shout out to all my wonderful mothers that you are not a bad mom. Do not let anyone tell you that you're a bad mom. Just because you're making mistakes along the way, we all do it. Just because you can't give your kids everything that they want, we're all in that boat. Be encouraged. Know that God has your back and that once you put your children in the right place in your life, once you take responsibility for that life that God has blessed you with, until they're able to take care of themselves, then you are a great mom. So on this holiday in the Bahamas, I just want to say, moms, you rock. You rock, ladies, and keep doing what you're doing 
because you're not perfect, but you are great. So be blessed, my sisters and brothers, and just know that God is with you. Have a great, great week. Thank you. Mm-hmm. <laughs>